today we are going to learn another important topic for all students and our parents. With this video, I thought to teach you how to log in into Akura and fix all your password issues during your first login. So, here with this, we will be talking about the web version of Akura. So, let's get started. First of all, let's open our web browser. As usual, I'm going to continue with Google Chrome. Now we are going to start the login process. To login into Akura, you should have a username and a password from your school. Now you should get the username and the password because this app connects together with your school. If you need to access study materials, we need to log in as a parent. Now from these four categories, you should select parent. If you are a teacher, you can log in with the teacher account. I'm going to log in as a parent. As you can see, now they are asking me to provide our username and our password. So here at this stage, you need to add the username which you got from your school. And then you can add the password they gave you. Remember, the most important thing is, at the first login, you should change the password which your school have provided you because this password is an one-time password. So as you can see on the screen, they are asking me the old password. Now these steps are very important. For the old password, you should give what you got from your school. For the new password and the confirmed password, you can give any passwords you like. But remember, the new password as well as your confirmed password should be the same. Please remember, you should write your new password somewhere and keep it safely because from the second login onwards, you have to use your new password. Okay, so now I will click next. So here you can see I have logged in to my account now. Now you can go to the children details and check whether the details are correct. So click on your child's name like this and fill out all the necessary details about your child. With this parent details tab, you should fill out all the related details about the both parents of the student.
So, with our next video, let's learn how to find and submit study materials easily in Nakura. So, see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.